Hello students. Children are often guided by elders of the family. But do you get bothered or annoyed when your parents constantly tell you to do this, don't do this? Then you are just like Michael, the poet of this poem. When Michael was 5 years old, his mother once took him to a nearby school for admission. And the teacher asked him, "What does your mother call you at home?" And the confident reply that came from Michael was, "Michael, don't." that means his mother always keeps him telling michael don't do this michael don't do that that is why he was so confident in giving the reply that my mother calls me michael don't to chivi means to nag or to bother it is to constantly urge someone to do something often in an annoying way so children often feel that their parents are chiving them annoying them or bothering them the speaker of this poem is a child who is telling about what grown ups tell them to do and don't tell them to do and what they feel about them now let's read the poem grown ups say things like speak up don't talk with your mouth full don't stare don't point don't pick your nose so the child is saying that grown ups often constantly keep guiding you even nagging you by telling don't do this don't do that they tell you to speak up they tell you to not to speak when your mouth is full they tell you not to stare stare means to constantly look someone or some at someone or something with your eyes wide open they tell you to not point your finger towards anything and they also tell you don't to pick the nose they also say sit up say please less noise shut the door behind you don't drag your feet haven't you got a hanky take your hands out of your pockets so other things that they tell you is sit up and say please make less noise shut the door when you come inside don't drag drag means pull along forcefully don't pull your feet forcefully on the ground haven't you got a hanky so they so they often tell you when you sneeze you should cover your mouth with hanky take your hands out of your pockets so these are some of the things apart from other things that grown ups tell you to do before proceeding let's see the poetic devices of the poem so when you see the last line of Uh, each the last word of each line you will see that none of the words are rhyming like up full stare point nose these words are not rhyme, rhyming so there is no rhyming scheme of the poem and when there is no rhyming scheme we say the poem is a free verse poem now see these lines don't talk with your mouth full don't stare don't point don't pick up your nose you will see that all these lines are starting with the word don't so there is a figure of speech here called anaphora anaphora is a figure of speech when two or more consecutive lines begin with same word so there is anaphora here now if you see this line don't drag these two words are starting they are making the sound of d so there is alliteration here alliteration is the repetition of consonant sound at the beginning of the words so in this line there is uh, alliteration Now let's see further. Grown-ups also tell you to pull your socks up, stand up straight, say thank you, don't interrupt. Interrupt means to come in between someone when they are communicating. So you are not supposed to interrupt when elders are talking. No one thinks you are funny. Take your elbows off the table. Can't you make your own mind up about anything? So grown-ups also tell you how to pull your socks up. Don't. let it loose you should stand up straight you should say thank you you should not interrupt when somebody is talking no one thinks you are funny so don't be shy nobody is making fun of you and you should keep your elbow off the table especially when you are eating or reading so on one hand they keep telling you don't do this do this and on the other hand when you when you obey them what do they say can't you make up your own mind upon uh, about anything so they say that you always follow us can't you make your own mind can't you make your own decision so this is the contrast here on one hand grown ups keep telling you to do this don't do this and on the other hand they instruct you to make your own mind they ask they question you if you follow them that can't you make your own mind now here in these lines also stand up straight about anything there is alliteration so the poem is by michael rosen it's about a child who is complaining about the nagging of grown ups and he is also saying that on one hand they keep nagging by telling us do this do that and on the other hand when you follow them they say can't you make up your own mind now let's quickly see the question answers of the poem when is a grown up likely to say don't talk with your mouth full 
so they are likely to say that when you are eating something and when you are trying to talk when are you likely to be told say thank you we often you are told say thank you by grown your grown up when somebody compliments you somebody praises you or when somebody does a favor to you somebody gives a gift to you when do you think an adult would say no one thinks you are funny an adult would say no one thinks think you are funny when you are you know making weird when you are doing weird things when you are trying to tease someone also when you are feeling shy in talking in front of others then also they will say that nobody is making fun of you okay the last two lines of the poem are not prohibition or instruction what is the adult now asking the child to do do you think the poet is suggesting that this is unreasonable why so the last two line of the poem suggests that uh, on one hand grown ups tell us to do certain things and when we follow them they say why don't you make your own mind this can be a little unreasonable because when you are constantly instructed and all of a sudden grown ups say that make your own mind then the child gets confused so child should be given freedom to make his own mind but at the same time he should also be guided by the grown ups what is good and what is not not why do you think grown ups say the kind of things mentioned in the poem is it important that they teach children good manners and how to behave in public of course children are not born uh, they, they will not know if they are not told what to do what not to do so they look upon their grown ups to be guided about everything since their birth so once they have this uh, they have this ability to decide on their own they don't need grown ups to instruct them but till they are children and they are not aware of the world outside they should be instructed by the grown ups if you had to make some rules for grown ups to follow what would you say make at least five such rules arrange the line as in a poem so this question i want you to answer by yourself and tell me by commenting in the session below Okay so this was about the poem Chivi students and you do let me know what do you are you also bothered by your parents or guided by your parents do you like it or you don't like it so thank you for listening students bye bye